Hey, how's it going? And today I'm excited to bring you this tutorial about something that's very, very important for filmmaking, and that is having good sounding, good quality audio. One of the problems that plagues audio, especially if you're doing on location recording, is background noise. And whether it's coming from your, your preamp or your recorder, or even from the environment itself, background noise always finds a way of creeping in. And I normally don't advocate or use that many plugins, but this one plugin I will absolutely recommend and suggest getting, and it's by Isotope, and it's the RX7 Elements. Right now, it looks like it's $129. I think every once in a while you can get it, like maybe a Black Friday special or somewhere for $99. You might shop around, but I want to tell you, even at $129, I think it's worth every penny of it. To be completely honest, I don't think the program is that intuitive, and I found the manual kind of lacking, and that's why I'm doing this tutorial. But once you understand how it works, and it's really not that complicated, you look back and think, well, I guess it is kind of intuitive. For this tutorial, I'm using Vegas Pro, which is the program that I edit in. So here's how we're going to walk you through the whole process from the start to finish of how you can significantly improve the quality of your audio. Okay, to get started on this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the complete process of cleaning up the audio. So we're going to use this sample track of the audio, and let's just go ahead and give it a listen. And keep an eye on the meters over here as well, so you can kind of see the this would go much faster if you start taking some boxes to the car. Well, Andy's going to be here any minute. It's almost 10.30. Who's that? The guy from the property management place. The actual, the audio is kind of low. The dialogue is low. And the, the mic is actually kind of far away from her. And so you can kind of see the noise level. So there's different ways to, of course, boost your volume. But the first thing you do before you do any noise reduction is you want to go ahead and, and boost the audio up to where it is. So I'm just going to do it the quick and easy way of just turning up, simply turning up the volume here, getting the, the dialogue up to a more acceptable level. So let me just do that. And you'll notice as I, of course, as I boost the volume, we're going to be getting a little bit more noise. So let me just do this a couple more times. I basically got the, the volume kind of all the way there. But that's a much more acceptable level for the audio. The first step is you bring your clip in and adjust the audio level, the dialogue level, to a point where you like it. Then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and draw a loop over this and make sure snapping is on. And this will save to the frame. So this will save the entire clip, every single frame. So then you go up in here to this gear and you want to make sure that you're rendering out your audio at the highest quality setting. So this particular clip is 48,000 hertz and then it has a 16 bit depth. So we don't, well, that's what we'll be rendering out as. So, but we want it set on best here and then we go okay. And then we can just go into file and we're going to go render as and then we come down here to wave microsoft and we're going to choose 48 thousand hertz 48k hertz and 16-bit stereo pcm and we're just going to go ahead and call this i'm going to call this uh, test audio a because i've already done this a couple times i've got a couple files going around with that different name so i'll call this test audio a and i hit render and it renders out very fast I'm going to close out uh, that render for right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into RX7. So I'm, I've been in here already, but I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all files. So this is what it looks like RX elements to start. And we just come to open file and there's our test audio A and we simply click and open it. And there's our, um, there's our dialogue levels. And then here it's bringing in the noise. This slider here, you can just show the noise. I guess let it finish rendering out first. But you can see there's a lot of noise in here, a lot of background noise on top of here. So we're really, we're not concerned about the noise here when they're talking. We're really only concerned about the noise. You really only hear it once they stop talking. So that's what we're really concerned about is not the noise that occurs here, but the noise that occurs in between. Because when they're talking, this signal drowns this out and you can't really hear it. But when they're not talking, then you hear all this. So this is what we're really concerned about. But before you bring it in, make sure you got it at the level that you really want it. So what you can do, it's this part is really relatively simple, is you just come over here and you click voice denoise. Now, like I said earlier, if you click this slider, it allows you to just show the noise 
or to show the dialogue. But I, I usually don't fiddle with that. So I just come here and click voice denoise. Normally by default, this should be set to 12. That's the default setting. You want it set on dialogue and you want it set on gentle. Surgical is a little bit more aggressive and of course music doesn't apply at all. And you've got two modes. You've got adaptive mode and learn mode, but I found between the two of them that adaptive mode is the best way to go. You just keep it at adaptive mode, dialogue, and gentle, and those, those are the best settings for you. And the great thing is you can just press this button here and kind of get a preview of it. And adaptive mode, the great thing about it is it will prevent artifacting. It won't introduce any kind of that metallic watery sound that sometimes you'll hear when you over apply noise reduction. So adaptive mode really prevents artifacting from happening. You can press here to stop it, you can preview it, but it's gonna do a good job and it's gonna reduce the noise without adding artifacting. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click here and go render. And now what it does is it will compute for a little bit. You just give it, you know, however long it takes. It doesn't take that long. Longer clips take longer, of course. It's relatively quick, I guess, and if you got a pretty good machine, it, it'll clean it up pretty good. So you let it do its thing, and then this is what you would consider to be the first pass. Okay, and now it's done. So we're going to go ahead and close this box, and then we're going to come up here to File, and we're going to go to Export, and we're going to do a WAV file, 16-bit, what we, what we did, and we we click here and go OK. And we're just going to call this test audio A. And I'm just going to put 12 dB. So I know it's a 12 dB reduction in background noise. And you click Save. Now, it could be that you like where that leaves it and you like, like that. But let's say you brought it back into your program and you didn't like it. Then all you got to do is you just go to File. And you're going to go Close File. And don't save anything here. Go back into Open File. And then Grab this file again and open it back up and open it back up. And here it is again. You can see already it's taking away the noise between the dialogue here. All these area wasn't had more color here, orange color. So you can see it's already gone in and pulled out a lot of the noise between the dialogue, significantly improved it. And so if you want to improve it even more, you can do another pass. It could very well be that first 12, uh, 12 dB pass is all that you need to do, but you can go in and do another pass. So we, again, we come back to uh, voice denoise. And this time, let's say we'll do it down to six. So we, the main idea with noise reduction is you want to do it gently and not overdo it. So it's better to do a couple gentle passes. You can also just enter the number in here, six zero or six, I'm sorry. So it's better to do a slight, two slight reductions than to try to do, remove like 18 dB at one time. So it's better to do like a 12 dB pass and then a six or another 12 dB pass versus doing a, an 18 dB pass or a 24 dB pass at once. And so what we'll do is you can preview it again just by clicking here. And that's just letting you hear what it sounds like. If you hit compare, it's like a processing button and it's uh it'll make uh, it'll allow you to compare it but you don't even have to really worry about compare i would just render out the first pass listen to it see how you like it if it's still you're hearing noise bring it back in and do another 6 or 12 db pass so we're going to go ahead and just render this out again and now it's going to go ahead and render the whole thing out it doesn't take very long the controls are already set optimally as far as i'm concerned i don't really think you're going to get a much better effect by doing learn i think surgical can actually introduce artifacts so the last thing you want in your noise reduction is to have overdone it and then introduced artifacts because that's almost worse than the background noise was okay so now this one's done and then when that's done you come up here again you go file you go export and you go OK, and we're just going to call this one now. Well, I'll call it 18 because it's actually a 12 and a 6 combined. And I hit 12 dB, and I'll just go save that. I want to show you something, too. Let's take a look at this right here. So this is a comparison. This is the audio file that we started with. And this is what we ended up with after a 12 pass and a 6 pass. So you can see there's obviously a huge difference between them in terms of noise reduction. Now there is still some noise there, but it's been reduced to a level that is barely noticeable if it's even noticeable at all. Okay, so it's fantastic, this RX element. So you don't really have to tweak anything. You don't have to do anything manually. You just have to bring the files in, run the pass, pretty much the default settings, and then just export it out. Okay, 
Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go back into Vegas Pro here. And this, I don't know how this may or may not apply to your software, but in Vegas, you would just highlight these two, the audio and the video, and you hit U to ungroup them. And then this clip, we can just delete the audio. So now what we're going to do is we just go File, Import, Media. We'll go to our folder here. And here's our audio that we had. So this is our audio that's been corrected and we just click and drag it up and it lines up perfect. It snaps perfectly in place. And then what you can do is hit control and select this clip. And now you've got both clips selected and you hit G. And now what you should have is you should have near perfect audio. Well, Andy's going to be here any minute. It's almost 1030. Who's that? The guy from the property management place. Now it actually might even be too loud. So you can actually adjust the volume back down there. So what you end up with is you end up with something that is so much better than what you had. Now, if for some reason that seemed like too much noise reduction, which seems might be hard to believe, you can also just go in and import your other other reduction clip, which was the, the 12 one here and bring that in too. So you can bring either one in and then you know swap that one out if you like that other one better and just go like that and then just pull this down and snap that one in and see if you like that better. But my guess is the 18 dB is clearly gonna be less noise than the other one. But this is something that you really need to do if you wanna take your audio to the next level and get rid of that background noise. So sometimes, despite your best efforts at trying to get good audio, there's gonna be background noise in there. And of course, you don't want you don't want that in there unless there's a reason you want some background noise in there, some sort of background sound or something like that, that you're deliberately adding it because you want to, but not background noise you don't want or don't have any control over. So anyway, I, I hope you found this helpful. I strongly recommend the RX Elements. I think it's a fantastic plugin. I really don't think you can go wrong by getting it. And it's one way that you can take your productions up a notch or two and separate yourself from everyone else by having that really nice audio with no distracting background. Anyway, thanks again. Please subscribe if you can. Take care and have a great day. And I'll talk to you later.